In this video, we will cover Workshop 4 for Creator CI40. In the video clip you're watching now, you can see one way in which your CI40 can be set up. You can also use Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet and USB power instead of a PSU if you want to. The key thing to note is that the Thermo 3 clipboard is connected to Microbus port 1. Workshop 4 involves exposing temperature values from the CI40 to an LW M2M device server. The values are then read from the device server's REST API and added to a database. This data can then be viewed on a mobile app. Full documentation for this workshop is available on docs.creatordev.io. Before you go further, check that you are running the latest software for CI40 by following the instructions in the documentation. The source code for the CI40 temperature logging application, the device server, the JavaScript web app and Android mobile app are all available on GitHub in the Creator Dev organization. If you have not already done so in the previous workshops, you will need to onboard your CI40 to securely connect to our hosted device server. Connect to the CI40 Lucy web pages by typing myci40.local into a browser on a device connected to the same network as the CI40. Once you have completed the onboarding process, navigate to console.creatordev.io and log in with the same credentials as you used to onboard CI40. You can then click on Devices and should see your CI40 listed. This shows that your CI40 is successfully connected to device server. The next thing to do is to run an application on CI40 in order to expose temperature values to the device server and therefore make them visible on the developer console. On your CI40 terminal, you can wget the pre-built version of the temperature logger application and install it with OPKG. You can then run it with the command temperature logger. You can now view the temperature values from your CI40 on the developer console. You can see the current value and also see details of the temperature IPSO object. Now that we have temperature values available, we need to run a JavaScript web app to take these values and add them into a database. Git clone the Kavano web app repository. Once we've configured this application, we'll deploy it on Heroku. Heroku is a web hosting service that allows us to run the web app remotely. The first thing to do when configuring the web app is to remove config.js from the git ignore file. This allows us to push our config to Heroku later. Rename the template config.js file to config.js. The secret in this file is shared with the mobile app in order to give it access to the temperature data. We'll show more of the mobile app later. The dburi and host can be left as the defaults, but the access key and secret need to be added. To generate a key and secret, you first need to log in to the developer console. In the API keys section, you can generate a new key and secret to copy into your config.js file. This will give your application secure access to the device server REST API. In order to push the web app to Heroku, you need to install the Heroku CLI by following the instructions on their website. Once complete, you can log into your account in a terminal and run Heroku Create to generate a new Heroku application. Copy the Heroku instance URL into the config.js file. You can also verify that your Heroku app has been created on the Heroku dashboard. We now need to set up our database to store the temperature values. This can be done for free on the MongoDB website by creating a single node sandbox database. Once created, you can add a database user and then substitute its username and password into the MongoDB connection URI. This URI can then be added to your Heroku configuration with the command shown on screen now. You can now deploy your web app on Heroku. This is done by pushing your changes to the Heroku Git Remote URL. This URL was generated when you ran Heroku Create and can be retrieved from the Heroku dashboard. Once the application has been deployed, you can view the subscriptions that it has created on the developer console. In the Heroku logs, you'll be able to see the temperature values as they're being posted. You can now view the temperature values on MongoDB or on our mobile app. An APK file is available on GitHub for you to download and install onto an Android device. After installing the app, you need to add your Heroku configuration. Ensure that you add the URL of your application with API v1 appended to the end. Check that the secret is set to secret unless you changed it in the web app configuration stage. Once you've added your Heroku details, you can view the data as raw values or as a graph. If you're unsure of any of the steps in this video, you can read the full documentation on docs.creatordev.io. If you have further questions, you can ask them on forum.creatordev.io.